can be another canoe spoon. So I'm just using some hook knives as a hot sills. Beaver craft, double beaver, beaver craft. And this is some something from China. I don't know what carpenters or something. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be working on this and then I'll shape it out. I did make it a little thinner in the beginning. Again, this is a nice piece of the ash right here. So that's, uh, that's what I'm working on. So I figured I'd show you, but uh, this is a double-sided hook knife, Beavercraft. Use some hot, mostly hot cells on this and um, and this Beavercraft too. So that's what I'm doing. Back to work. It's hard to see here. Cans bowl. And be careful here. Kind of an uneven cut here, so I'll try to straighten it out. See that on those chopping with the axe with this ash, just seasoned ash, it kind of pulls away on these ridges in there and it pulls the chunk out a little bit. You have to be careful with that. And where it's nice and full over here, it's not over here. So I'll even it out. But not exactly what I wanted. But uh, I'll always make it work. Just that little gouge is a real pain in the neck to get out. I'll sand it out. It didn't take too long. Uh, uh, digging the, this part out did. It has to be dug out here a little more, make it even. To kind of go slow right now and this is this was the bark side right here that was the bark side but you know i'll put a hole there and work on it sand it and i'll finish it up but I, i'm liking the cans bowl the way it uh functions there i'm working pretty good that 7-eleven is good it crashed from 7-eleven i don't have a 106 but um uh, This works pretty good. Flicker knives don't work good when you're carving. This is not bad. I don't have to. I can cut some of this off, brown this off down here.
whenever you're working with seasoned wood, sometimes you can blow out the end if it's too dry. So you just have to be careful with that. And then if it's too green, it can crack. So I find half and medium. Or check, I wouldn't say crack, but check. to be anything fancy but um, the the seed and ash usually sands out pretty good that's pretty smooth if you had to just use it but uh, let's see what happens there I got to go easy here good enough for now so what i'll do now is i'll go all over the ridges i probably have to dig dig this out a little more and uh, on this side it's not even yeah no big deal but i'll uh, clean the ridges up a little bit um, it's not perfect but not too bad you all right Maybe something Making a few of these, these these type spoons, so I'm gonna sometimes sometimes the eldris works good in the in the small uh, spots there too. But, uh, so I'm gonna work on this sand and just take care of the ridges. Sometimes you can just uh, go with a knife like that it takes care of some of the ridges. So what I'm doing is hitting some of these ridges. So I'll get back to you. This is uh, when the Eskimo here, fair ride. So what I'm doing, I'm smoothing this out with the actual knife blade. It'll save you a little trouble in the long run. all this down and again I took a little too much out here pulled away because the wood was dry but I'm, I could blow this whole thing right at the end I, I don't want to do that so I'm not going to mess too much with it but uh, if you're working with dry wood you could just finish it in one sitting um, it depends on how much you want to stand it but uh or if you want to sand it, but um, green wood can't really do that. I'm liking this uh, cans bowl that I got. The uh, third item I used it on, and uh, kind of like it. Good bushcraft knife. Um, but if you chop little limbs off, I don't like chopping or or uh, batoning. Sometimes you have to. I have a more robust knife, which I do have. But uh, I would not baton with this because it's it's thin. Some of the other mores you could, but uh, see sometimes if there's little ridges in there, you can get them out with this. on the end down here but uh be all right but uh yeah I, I still have to take more out of the center there but uh you got the basic uh spoon is down but uh put a hole there but I'll sand it and touch it up a little bit and I have other knives too they're a little smaller I want to get in here a little bit so
been sitting. Not too bad, didn't take too long. So it's the finished product. It's kind of, I put one application of uh, walrus oil. I had to chase that sun down. He almost got me with the tusk. It's getting tough. It's always a battle. But I got some oil. But uh, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, yeah, that's it. You know? And uh, it's fine. Good enough. So I'll put it down here and you can take a look at it. But uh, I'll show you the other stuff there. Just the other finished this one today this one I did this afternoon from 3 to 5 or something like that it's a birch and cooksa just to oil that up for the first time sand it but uh, here's the canoe spoons I've been working on canoe spoons it's not a good picture but uh, but that's what I'm doing so Queen Eskimo fair rod kind of figure show you what I'm doing a little bit sorry for the uh, you know I'm not an expert video guy but uh, that's fine this keeps me busy you know I know my stuff there these are birch still birch it's birch so you guys take it easy but uh, keeps me busy you know cool I'll make some more of these So I just want to show you, this is what I made. I have to put some more oil on it and uh, for this video. And it's the other half of it. That's what the first half looked like, it was ash. So basically this wood was like this. One big piece of ash, I cut it in half and uh, made the canoe spoon. And I'm gonna, this piece is a little thin. I'm gonna see if I can make something out of it. We'll give it a try. So that's what we're doing. And uh, worked out pretty good. So there you go. It's a little lighter than the last two I made. So you take care.